check out these adventures. Good morning. Good morning, Jack. Good morning. Welcome to our weekend vlog. We're waking up. Um, plans? Huh. Do we have plans this weekend? Do we have plans? Oh, we're weekend? so busy. We're so busy, Jack. <laughs> no. No plans. Stay Let's... inside and not melt. Yeah, well, it's not even gonna be 100 this weekend. I think what? we're looking at like 97, 98, I think what they said on the Cold news. Yes, they're like, it's gonna be a little bit cooler this weekend. But uh, let's see, Mason is starting a challenge with the high school basketball boys. So varsity boys, JV boys, freshmen, incoming freshmen. So he's super excited about that. Today is day one of his challenge, so we got to make sure we get that done at some point. So we do have plans, Jack. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> I know he wants to take Mason out hitting again like we did last weekend, so that'll probably happen tomorrow because we did sleep in. It's nine o'clock right now. So we, we try to get right out now, the door. So yeah, but it's definitely breakfast time. And a couple weeks ago, we brought to you a TikTok breakfast with the tortilla and the pan and the cheese. Well, another TikTok breakfast for you guys. This time it's the one with the bread. If you guys watch TikTok, you probably know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna attempt to try it. Hopefully it works out. First timers here. I'm sure it tastes fine no matter what. But <laughs> All right. I saw the TikTok and it looked complicated. It did, huh? All right, let's see if we can figure it out. First you need the heat. So we got the heat. I think it's supposed to be medium-ish. Sh medium? Sh medium. Spray your pan. I was just telling Jack too, my parents put this in a stocking years ago. It's just a little egg and you put your eggs right in there and then you shake, shake, shake and then you have scrambled eggs. Yes. Isn't that cool? Looks like a, a whale tail. Ooh, fuzzy. All right, here we go. So you gotta spread this out. So this is kind of like the tortilla one we did? Yeah, but you use bread instead. Okay, I think we're getting there. Um, so you think about this. You're supposed to put it in like this, and then flip it. Ah. I guess that's so it gets crunchy on that. Yeah, yeah, Dunk it. Oof. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here's the hard part. Is you gotta flip the whole thing. Oh, say what? You gotta flip the whole thing. Is it cooked yet? Looks a little runny. Well, it's still gonna cook. Oh boy. I'm oh boy. Saying, it looks like runny runny though. You want me to just flip it, flip it? You think you can? I don't know. I don't no. Know How do you do that? Why would they make it look so easy? Because <laughs> <laughs> they probably do it 12 times in a row until it's done. Oh this boy. Oh step. boy. She got it. She got oh. it. I don't know. I'm supposed to flip the extras up. <laughs> well, it looks great. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll eat, I'll eat anything. <laughs> and, then, and then your cheese. And then eventually you flip it. But you're supposed to let it cook a little bit more, I think. We'll check back. <laughs> Comes the big flip over. Ugh. Can I do all right? Looks good. Right, yeah. It was to kind of be like French toast. It looks French toasty, minus yeah. like the cinnamon like, or the. Mm -hmm. Like the French toast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You guys watch TikTok? Did I do okay? I think you did great. Did I, do this? I watched one TikTok. It was fail, and she did it opposite. Like the eggs were on the outside. It was really weird. I don't even know how she did it like that. She did it like. At least I didn't do that. The last one everybody said the Bebo quesadilla. Ooh. Bebo breakfast quesadilla. I think that's what. This will be the eggly ego sandwich. Okay. I don't know, you guys call it something better because I was weak. <laughs> of course, the second one goes a little bit better, but it also could be because this is my gluten-free bread. It's a little bit smaller, but it seemed to come out a little bit prettier. It kind of fit in the pan better. And where's your sandwich, mister? In my bed. <laughs> it was was good. it good? Yeah, it was good. Oh, good. Yeah. Glad you liked it. It's really good. Do you think Mason's gonna like it? Yeah, he'll like it. He's still sleeping. Oof. Teenager life right there. Good morning, Mason. Happy weekend. Good Holy morning. air. <laughs> um, so Mason tried the breakfast sandwich. 
Jack actually made Masons because I was upstairs getting dressed for the day. Because we're about ready to head to the grocery store. I'm gonna sit down, make my list of all the stuff that we need to get for the week. But how did Dad do? It was good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You do all right? Yeah, I'm just full. You're full. It is a yeah. big sandwich. It's got two eggs in there too, so. All right, well, eventually you have to do your basketball challenge. How are you feeling about that? You excited? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So Mason gets to verse a varsity player. Yeah. <laughs> so do your best. What exactly do you have to do today? Uh, dribble between the legs. Okay. I don't really know if it's like one, two, one, two, or it's like back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, we need to figure out that before you do it. But um, basically I think what we're supposed to do is um, film him and time him and then we have to send it off to coach. So, and then if he ends up losing to the kid that, and the kid that's on varsity that he's versing is a point guard too, is that right? Yeah. Oh boy. Well, good luck, Mace, do your best. But I think even if Mason loses the first challenge, he still continues the rest of the challenge because um, it's based on a point system as well. So, you'll do good. I have faith in you. It'll be fun. Ooh, bad lighting, bad lighting. Maybe we need the bad lighting to hide that hair. <laughs> All right, well, let me get to this list. We'll get to the grocery store. You get dressed for the day, and we'll get your challenge done. We're back. Yay. Isn't that so much fun? That was a successful day date. <laughs> you guys, I'm super excited. Look what they had. If you guys have been following us for a while, you know that we love cotton candy grapes. Normally, I always get them at Sam's Club. The fries had them, which they do have them sometimes. So I'm excited about that. Uh, what else did we get? I found these. Gluten free, I'm excited about those. Haven't had those yet. Um, ooh, the camera's falling. Um, Jack's been into this, so he got this flavor, was that last week, and almost like, ate the whole bag? Yeah. So Amazing. he went ahead and got another flavor. Hopefully they're just as good, but that's a nice healthy snack. Um, got lots of fruits, lots of vegetables. Guess what's in there? The boys wanted more wings. But new flavor, I think it's like lime or something? I don't know. So Mason's here trying to figure out what exactly he needs to do for his basketball challenge. Are you gonna switch feet? Or are you just gonna go back, yeah. Well, uh, it's kinda hard with this ball. Yeah. In this area. I think it's gonna be like that, right? Not the other way? The other way is like scissors. Yeah. But we're gonna eat some lunch. Not this way. He's gonna take some practice rounds. Yeah. Is that easier or harder? Harder. <laughs> <laughs> Should you do this before you eat wings? You think you'll be alright? Yeah, already. Alright. Somebody said when you turn 18, we should frame this ball. <laughs> Break it? Frame it. Oh yeah, we should. Gonna go with the new ball. This one is the one we've been using since um, the whole stay at home order. Since practices have been canceled. Definitely used and abused. Time for a new ball. Here we go. I think we decided we're going to go to a basketball hoop where it's nice and flat. I think that there's one that might have some shade, hopefully, because it is 96 degrees out. So shade will be good. And it's not timed. It's how many he can do in between his legs. So I guess I got that wrong earlier just to clear it up. They we're off. Here we go. Are you gonna bring this ball just in case you don't like that ball? Or do you, yeah. you think it's gonna be all right? I think it's gonna be all right. But just in case. And then we brought the pump in case we put too much air in it. Well, there's the hoop, but unfortunately they put caution well, tape. To be fair though. Not right there. We're just, we're not gonna play basketball. We just wanna dribble. Breaking the rules, but that's okay, right? We're shooting hoops and we're social distancing. <laughs> yes, I think the reason why they have this up is because the hoops are still up. Clearly we're not gonna be here shooting. We just want the shade and the flat ground, so. So, so far, that's the best he's done 
but he can do this as many times as he wants until he feels comfortable with the number and he thinks that number is gonna win. So, I don't know, do you try again? Yeah. I think he's probably gonna try again. Try again. That was good, bud. Yeah, my, I got my first baseman stretching ability right there. <laughs> the hand there was like great. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we are all done with Mason's basketball challenge now. He did hire, so I vlogged and he got 244, I think yeah. was the number. He did do it again and got a higher number. I don't think we're gonna tell you that number yet because he's gonna continue to try to raise that number. We're in, in fact, we're at um, Sam's Club right now. We've been wanting to get him um, like industrial type outdoor fan for the garage for when he's hitting. But we're gonna go ahead and see if they have one now because he's gonna work all night tonight and try to get as high of a number as possible before sending it off to coach, which needs to be tomorrow. So leave a comment down below how many between the leg dribbles do you think Mason Are we did? not gonna tell him at all, at all? I said we shouldn't tell him, we should make oh, you guys wait. Okay. So don't roast me, but that was my plan. But leave a comment, what do you guys think? How many, how many, how many dribbles? dribbles? So you know already he did 244, but so. he did higher after that, so. I don't know, leave a comment down below. He's gonna stay in the car. Yes. He hasn't been to a store since the whole um, stay at home order, so. That's what one is, thing he's loved about the stay at home order. He doesn't like going to stores He hasn't anyway. been to a store. Did I say stay home? He hasn't been in a store. We've gone to the grocery store without him. So he's gonna stay in the car while we run in and hopefully find a fan real fast. You excited for a fan? Hopefully they have one here. We'll go find yeah. out. They have it online, so we'll see. Bam, found him. Should we get him this one? Oh my gosh. The industrial strength. He would love that. Might blow him out the garage. But I think this is the guy we're looking for right here. So this is about to go down. <laughs> hopefully I don't screw it up because it already smells amazing just with the marinade. So hopefully I don't mess it up. Try tip tonight. Side dishes? Um, potatoes. Freshly made potatoes and beans? Yes. <laughs> I, get, I get it easy tonight, and then salad. Ooh, all right. Well, we just put the steak on the grill, but we also got some bad news from Mason's coach, basketball coach. Do you want to explain what happened? Uh, we did it wrong. Dang it! We kind of had a feeling earlier this morning when Mason was dribbling right here. I was like, does it have to be through the legs? Like, what kind of dribble are we talking about? It's gotta be the scissors, so. I don't really want to dribble on the floor. You're fine. Do it. It's okay. Right. You have permission. So you gotta go. So now we get to start over. He actually asked another kid that was doing it, and we kind of had the same interpretation of them as just through the legs. We're like, all right. I was like, that kind of seems weird, but it was like the first round of challenges, so I thought maybe he was gonna make it easy. A little bit easier, yeah. And then move up, but it is what it is. He got some practice already. Yeah, now we yeah. need a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, good luck. I think he's trying right now. Jack's recording him right there. But I don't wanna walk outside because I don't wanna throw off his rhythm. Looks like he's doing all right. How'd you do? I just got 116 first try. 116? And dead recorded. Awesome. That wasn't bad. Not for a start, yeah. I was uh, starting to prep some of the side dishes and I looked and I was like, oh, I think he's going. So I, I vlogged a little bit, but I didn't want to go outside. To, well, like, he said he was going to practice. I'm like, well, I said, just do your first one. I see said, what happens? I said, well, you know, I said, we'll set a baseline for you, like a number to start at. Yeah. And that's what we did, so. Awesome. Well, that was good. So you can only go up from there, right? There's your starting base, 116. Yeah. It's more breath uh, taking up. Yeah, it's more work. Which it's is more good. work, Probably yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's good. Going again. Concentration. So that's the KJ or scissor that he's supposed to be doing. Oops. Dinner is ready. This has just been resting. So excited to cut into it. How will that do? Look at his hair. Uh, <laughs> will that do? Is that on high? Oh yeah, that's I can't see. Is that on level three? 
Uh, That'll work, right? Mm -hmm. Is zero off? Get some air flowing in the garage. Hello. It's popping. <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> Good morning. We are waking up. Jack and I just ate breakfast. I made breakfast burritos because when we were shopping yesterday, Jack found this and he was super excited. But then he had it in his burrito and he doesn't think that it was that spicy, just for your information. But he said it had good flavor. So um, this is actually Mason's burrito. He should be walking downstairs any second now. We have him up. It is nine o'clock. We were gonna go hit this morning, but he wants, bless his heart, he worked so hard last night. I think he worked until it was close to nine o'clock in the garage trying to up his number for the basketball challenge. So he's pretty happy with the number that he got last night, but he still wants to try um, this morning and try to up his number a little bit more, but he has two hours until um, the video needs to be sent to coach. So he's trying to wake up, he's gonna eat his burrito, and then I think he's gonna head out and try to get a better number. So I don't know if we're gonna end up hitting today because it's already going on 80 degrees, so typically we would like to be out there right now hitting, but I know that what's on his mind right now is his basketball challenge, which I completely understand. So as for now, that's the plans for our Sunday. I wanted to show you a little trick. I am cutting up the strawberries that I got from the grocery store yesterday and my sister showed me this trick and I did it last week. So normally strawberries only last like a couple days and they start to get moldy because if you leave them like in these containers that they come in. So what you do is you wash them and then you cut them and then you put them in a pan with paper towels just like this and then put either saran wrap or I have a lid that goes over this one. And last week, so I bought my strawberries on Sunday. They were still good until Friday. We ended up eating them on Friday, but I feel like even if they would have gone longer, if we didn't eat them all, they would have lasted longer than even Friday. So thank you to my sister for giving me that awesome trip tip because normally I know that I have to eat strawberries within the first couple days of buying them but this makes them last all week long. Look who just came inside. Are you done? He's gonna go ahead and submit his video. Almost down to the wire, but he just beat his score from last night. Once again, I don't think we're gonna tell you guys what number he got. Leave a comment down below. Congratulations, dude. Can't believe you beat last night's number. Mm -hmm. Now we wait and see. I think the next challenge starts tomorrow, am I right? Mm -hmm. Something else that you're gonna have to do? Starts, starts on Monday? So today's the deadline for the dribbling through, what is it called, KJ's? <laughs> um, scissors, Chris, yeah, whatever you wanna call it. And then tomorrow you'll get a new, but hopefully by the end of the day, we'll know if you um, won or not, I guess, maybe? We'll see, we'll find out, but good job. Proud of ya, way to put in work. And once again, Love these coaches. Um, I know why they're doing the challenge, because like I said, this kid was out in the garage till about nine o'clock last night, putting in work, and then as soon as he woke up this morning for a good hour, he put in more work. So I think that's what the coaches want. Um, once again, I can't say enough about these coaches. You guys know that they do the Zoom meetings every week, keep the boys engaged, just checking up on them, film studies. Um, I'm just, yeah, I'm excited for this upcoming season and this kid. Good job, bud. Now you can shower and relax and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. It's kind of been a lazy Sunday for us, huh? Kind of. <laughs> we got on work this morning. Do we want to talk about the elephant? You call me an elephant? <laughs> then why are you in a different chair? Because that chair is done. <laughs> I didn't like it anymore, so I threw it away. <sighs> Yeah. Dang it, why weren't we vlogging? That would have been funny. It was awful. Though. It was very unclimatic though. Like we thought he would like fall through. It kind of went like it was a slow motion because it was already pretty much toast. It goes, mm -hmm. and then I, I set it back up and I'm like, oh, maybe, it, and, no. and then it was done. Well, we knew it was about it ready to go. It, too, it actually but. lasts longer because if you guys have been following us, Mason got this chair, I don't know, a while back because the blue chair was about ready to be done anyways, but it kind of lasted longer than we thought. So now we're in the market for a new chair. That one looks comfortable though. It's not bad. All right, well this is how our Sunday's going. 
<laughs> I've been on my phone. I've been watching some YouTube videos. I answered all your guys' comments on the last video. I've been looking up um, recipes on Pinterest. Just kind of being lazy today. Um, I have chicken marinating because I think we're eventually going to grill out some chicken for dinner tonight. But I just came upstairs to check on the boys because I heard all the commotion because of the whole chair incident. <laughs> Beat it? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I was like, that has to be the run. It literally has to. It has to be this one. What'd you do? Hit it? I came back. Sacrifice so, fly? Yeah. I put, well, it was clutch. Because I pinch, pinch run. Look at all the stuff. Ooh, I got. let me see that. Wow. This is all from the program. And then that's the game. Reward. Okay. I beat the mini boss. And then that, coming into that, I was down 9 to 15 and ish. No doubt of a chipper, made it 12-15. I had a two-run shot, I think, and then right there. I, I knew it, though. I pinch ran for Gary Carter, who was 36 speed, and I put someone with 86 on third, and that literally won me the game. Good baseball. Gary would have been probably host, because I knew Gary Carter wasn't going to come up to the dish anyways. So. Oh, look at my boys. <laughs> you lazy. No, 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 no. They're not lazy. In fact, they just got back from playing a little bit of baseball outside, so they're cooling off. It is hot out. Um, but while they were out, we got some good news. Should we share the good news? Sorry, guys. The battery just died, so I switched that out. Sorry about that. But back to what we were talking about. Mace. What were we talking about? The basketball challenge. What about it? Did you get to move on? Are you done, Zo? I am moving on. Ah! He beat him. Yes, he did. But it was a great competition. Um, Mason actually did pretty well. I think he got, what did he get? Like fourth, fifth, fifth total out of everybody in the challenge. Yeah. So that's pretty good. I'm proud of him because he did work hard on getting his number up. So he is moving on. But the next challenge is push-ups. <laughs> so I think Good thing we started the family challenge though. I know. So I know he could probably do at least 20 push-ups cuz that's about where we're about like 25 on our family push-ups, but uh, Yeah, so we'll have to do two, that tomorrow. 3. We'll see seven. how that goes. <laughs> but super proud of him. He's moving on. Um, it is dinner time. I think we're gonna pull, go ahead and pull out the chicken. I think I'm gonna do some carrots and some rice. It's gonna be dinner tonight. And then I think the last dance is on, right? It's on right now. Oh, it's on right now. We we'll re-record it so we don't have to watch commercials. That's, that's the way you should do things. So we'll eat dinner and then eventually watch that. Dinner is ready and Mason helped grill the chicken tonight. Looking good, bud, looking good. Good job on the chicken. It's funny, we finished dinner, but you guys are talking about what your favorite restaurant is. That's why I asked him, I said, tomorrow if everything got back to normal, I said, where would you want to go eat? What would be the so, first restaurant? So you guys, leave a comment down below, where would you pick? Yeah. If you could go eat one spot, There's where would so you many pick? Options. Even he's, he's such not a picky eater, I think that's why he's having a hard time, but he did have his favorite fast food. You want to share that? I was gone Sunday. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. You did pick that, but you also said right now you're craving an In-N-Out burger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? You don't really like In-N-Out. The fries. I we love, love the burger. Okay. I don't like the fries. I, I said the, the next shakes. time we go to In-N-Out, yeah, he needs to get... Animal stuff yeah, animal. I think that would be the thing to do. Or we get an In-N-Out burger with a shake. Jack in the box curly fries. What? Oh. That's your favorite French fry. Honestly, what in and out needs to do is just serve their uh, special sauce or whatever on the side. I bet you, you guys, leave a comment down below. If I you bet ask. you can just ask for a side of special sauce to dip your fries in. I bet you you can. Facts. We just never have asked. I'm asking next time because if they do that, the fries will be 10 times better. Okay. Because the ketchup is not. Big. Yeah, he's not a big ketchup person. I, the That's ketchup's why. ketchup's ketchup, you know? He likes honey mustard. This is, um, if you guys ever wanted, um, speaking of Chick-fil-A, Chick this is very sauce. similar to Chick-fil-A sauce. It's at Walmart, so just so you know. All right, boys, I think it was a good weekend, yeah? It was. Gonna go ahead and end it here, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up dinner, watch some TV. The last dance, boom. Yeah, and get ready for another week. The <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. We will see you. 
next time. Or to subscribe, like this video, and comment in the comment section. And to check that and subscribe across the video adventures. And let's five girl adventures. And don't press bell down below so you know if I won't be the next video. And don't check out next time.